Oops. Yeah, I know. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Good morning, Typo. We've got the rabbit home. Jeez, that's bright. Um, yesterday, my car started to... It's It's having a moment i'm pretty sure the transmission fluid's dirty so we bought the suzuki home i don't know how it's gonna cope after being outside overnight we do still have power good sign anyway so we are shearing today i we bought up excellent so we're shearing today we bought up i think a thousand sheep yesterday that are going to be shorn today we couldn't shear yesterday because on monday we had a massive amount of rain and the sheep were wet and shearers won't shear sheep wet i'm not sure if it's a shock to the system or what but this is the best this car's i think ever ran we're here we're up the back we're in the cow paddock as we can see it doesn't look very eventful i think this paddock is pretty much done lambing. In saying that, I can see two that have not lambed. So next week, I imagine these will be marked because they've pretty much finished lambing. We just take the ones that haven't lambed out and then we put them in their own paddock because they're special. I won't go too much into it. Gotta leave a little bit of suspense. Come on. Yes! Oh, these are two fucking foxes there. Look at them. The feral fox. I think the one's gonna about to bash the other. Now there's a crow going after it. Jesus Christ! I feel like one of those schoolyard cameramen who can't keep the camera on the action. David Attenborough would sack me. I've been trying to get this girl up for a few days. I gave her some lupins yesterday to try and boost our chances. I think she'll be able to get up. I wouldn't be surprised. Forward we go, sluggy. Here's one of the mineral troughs that we've put out. They have pretty much finished it. On Monday, I did prepare some more and they, uh, they're they actually quite promising. I felt them yesterday and they were pretty they were pretty solid. So I'm, I'm proud of myself about that. Remind me later to bring the mineral troughs. Mum's very distressed. So what happened there is the lamb has passed, unfortunately, and mum is asked, like, confused as to why the lamb's not getting up. Nothing we can really do there except let her understand, come to terms with the fact her lamb's passed. You can try all you can to prevent things from happening, but ultimately nature will take its course. There is another bloody fox. He's come from in there, which is the mine paddock where the prime lines are. No one in there will be lambing. So, unsure what Mr. Fox was doing. Not a lot to film because there's not a lot happening. Here are my mineral blocks. Notice how they're, they are solid. I'll chuck them in the back of the ute. We'll bring them up to the sheep. That one's, le that one's less, don't look at that. Bring them up the road, put them in the paddocks because eh, they are eating them. Are you good, love? You don't look good. You look like you've gone to sleep and haven't been able to get back up. I keep falling and I can't get up. Don't worry, I'll get you up, babe. Spice it up this time. I'll put you on top of the Suzuki. Bum. There was a rock there. This fucking thing, I can't fucking see. Bum. 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 And away we go. Right, we're up and good. Same recipe as last time, but instead of lupins, we've got beans. They ate them very quickly. We'll put two, a big one and then two small ones. They'll have them as they please. I imagine they'll be gone by next week. There's a close-up of them if you wanted to have a look. Next paddock is this one. These troughs went out. Was it last video? I think I put them out in this video. Yeah, it looks like they might just need some more. Oh, that one got flipped, so they didn't get to finish that. Place this one. 
the lice just makes it go fucking yuck when it gets wet. I don't know what these are for, but they're fucking annoying. If you know what these are for in the comments, let me know. Are they tie downs? Right, next paddock. Need to go around the sheep first. Hello, child. He's got a fresh umbilical cord, so I imagine he's recent. I reckon this might be mum, and she's wandered off, and she hasn't realised she's plopped out too. Be the right mother. Please be the right mother. It's not looking good. I don't think this is mother. No. Nah. Running away. Stop running away. Stop running. You are a fresh fetus. I do like her as mum. I thoroughly like her as mum. All right, mum, can you come back for your twin? They look very similar. Yep, that's mum. I picked up the troughs in here yesterday because they were empty. They even cleaned around the rims, which they normally don't do. That's what she said. Problem with doing troughs and stuff is they create high traffic areas. So we can see there's a trough bean here, there's a trough bean over there, and it kind of just the grass. The way to minimize that is to change where you put the trough and don't put the trough on grass that's already there. Right, so here's our trough. I'm not gonna put it here because it's just gonna leak, it's just gonna create a big mess. However, I will put it here because there's grass here already. Yes, they are gonna destroy that grass, however, five days to finish the trough then it's going to be moved and the grass can regrow. The other one I've put in amongst that grass, they will find it because they'll be able to smell it. When they trample that grass down, it's a good way to sequester carbon in the soil by trampling grass. Dad's just called, we've had a you go down and I need to go get it up after it's been shorn. Just need to quickly go around these because we've got an emergency. Beautiful. Oh. Grab me oh. this, you stay in here. All these ladies are done. They need to be lysed and then they're getting sent off. All right, here she is here. Hello, love. All right, so what we do here. Find a bit of loose skin. Like under there. And then you squeeze it in. That should sink into, that should absorb into the body. It sh you should take that in and then she might lay down if I leave her, so. Normally you would apply pressure onto where I inserted the needle to stop the bleeding. However, she didn't seem like she wanted to participate much longer. She was very patient. I'll pick up three of these and drop the rest out. I'm gonna drop two blocks in here. This paddock has already had them. Then I'm gonna put two behind these guys. They're out. She's already ready to come and have a go. <laughs> All right, off we go. Clearly they're a crowd pleaser. Didn't take long for them to get into them. Are you ready to get up, my dude? This is the you from this morning. I'll give her a bit of a dose of this. Might be all she needs to get up. Oops. Yeah, I know. It's a bit strange, isn't it? I'm suspecting you'll probably be up tomorrow. While the minerals are in the paddock, like while I still have access and there's actual minerals in there, I have seen a reduction in the sheep that need help and the sheep that are falling, like getting sick and rot, like laying down and not being able to get up. getting organised to take the front sheep around the house or back. All the gates are open. I've just got to slowly push them back towards their paddock. We're on our way. There's a couple here that have not got the memo. Take your child, take your child. You have a very dumb child. Thank you. Two small children have been forgotten. No idea why this way is the appropriate course of action. We haven't gone this way. Oh, perfect execution as long as we get this ewe with the lamb. 
Is she going to get the U with... Oh, she got the U with the lamb as well. No, she missed it. Tyco! Tyco! Is she going to find it this time? She's going down. No, nope, she's going the wrong way. There she is. There she is. Something has happened because... We're not functioning correctly. And I'm not sure what because I can't fucking see shit. I'm gonna have to get someone to bring another car up and go in We've literally walked all the way back to where we started with half the amount of shit. All the way back. All the way back. Teeny lambs found their mothers. I'm just taking this mob here away. Going down the road for the first paddock just to put them somewhere. Almost got these girls back. Don't go up there, don't go up there. Thank you, thank you. There we go. I was about to leave, but I'd forgotten about squirt. Sorry, dude, I'll drop you back off. Drop him off in the middle. Don't follow me, you silly little creature. Can I have the fucking door? For God's sake. We're getting good use out of the um, minwall. Another sheep that's down. We'll have to inject her. She, this should help her for quite well. Same process. Same. Get a bit of close up from my angle. Here. Typo, can you go away? Go away, please. Typo, go away. Typo's just there. All right, so we squeeze it in. See how this bit here is expanding? That's what we want. So that's just going under the skin. That's telling me we're not putting it into a vein or muscle. All right, that's quite firm now. So we're going to pull that out. Put pressure on it just to prevent any bleeding. But this is a quite a large gauge needle, so we, it's we're likely we are going to get bleeding. Then we need to find some more loose skin. Bum's always good, generally. There we go. We're in now. So that's where we were. This is the new one. The vet did this with Cooper once. So it's it's not some sketchy medicine. It's actually this is actually vet practice. You want this one to kind of be a bit bigger. It's not very firm yet, so it's not quite full. It's got to be careful with the sheep because they get up and run away very quickly. 